career coach Anshita. Today's topic of discussion is for all the class 11th and 12th class students out there. Since all of you have just recently begun your journey of 11th and 12th and looking at what career options do I look at and shortlist, I feel rather than preparing for board exams and entrance exams, there's much more to look at and there's much more to add value on to which is simply called as profile. So today's session would be focusing on how can we build this profile? What is profile exactly all about? So uh, starting from what is profile? Profile is nothing but just a combination of your extracurriculars, your co-curricular activities that help you shape your personality and also I would say broadens your perspective towards things. So let's go ahead and discuss the, how should we actually go about building a profile. Okay, so point number one, since all of you are at a stage where we are figuring out what career options do we take, how do we look at things, what options do I shortlist, will I be okay in this or not. So just before getting on to something, let's have a little background and prepare a little extra for it. Let's build our foundation more stronger. How? For anybody to go ahead and study something like management, pick up an online course and see what are the different kinds of management which are available today. How, we, how can we implement them in our day-to-day -day activities? What are the different kinds of management that companies are now looking forward to? What are the different tactics that they're looking at? For example, somebody to study design. What are the different softwares I, I can use for editing, for photography? for drawing, for sketching, all of these areas. Learn more software so you can understand, okay, these are the essential aspects which I will be learning in the coming future or this is going to be my go-to. So all of this will help you create a good background, a good foundation for you to be able to decide, okay, whether or not I have that kind of skill set to go about in this career and have a good prior knowledge about it before entering into it. Now. Let's look at the second thing, uh, which is mostly on your co-curricular activities. Now, co-curricular activities consist of your debates, your quiz competitions, MUN conferences, how do you go about your performance in Olympiads, and many more other things. Now, you would say, man, there's already so much studying, how do we do something more extra? This will help you develop a lot of other skills, like confidence, communication skills, logical reasoning, uh, attention to detail, perseverance and many more. In short, you will be learning and looking at things more than what does your textbook teaches you. What is actually happening in the world. Have group discussions, have discussions with respect to what is happening in the world. MUNs can serve a very good platform for the same. Right? So that's about co-curriculars. Definitely your position your level of achievement in Olympiads in national and international levels definitely talks a great detail about you at the university level. Moreover, let's move ahead to our third and most important pro, uh, point which is extracurricular activities. Now extracurricular activities can be anything. It can be dancing, painting, drawing, it can be photography, anything that you like, playing any sports for that matter. If you have been playing sports, uh, let's say football, cricket, tennis, badminton for let's say two years, three years, please grow in it, move forward in it. Train yourself to go ahead and play inter school levels, go ahead and play district level, state level, national level. Stretch yourself, move out of your comfort zone. It basically tells me a great detail about you. And what is that? That I have the ability to stick to things. I have the ability to practice it, pursue it, irrespective of what. Your resilience, your attention to detail, your teamwork, your ability to influence, take feedback, work on it as a group. All of these are activities which will talk about you as a person so definitely if you have any sports any dancing anything like that please go ahead and pursue it very very passionately moving ahead to something called as leadership roles now you would say what do i do 11th and 12th i think is one of the times when 
mostly schools uh, appoint you and give you the opportunity of coming ahead and managing it in the school cabinet or in the form of student union council all of these areas this is the opportunity this is the platform for all of you to basically go ahead and showcase your leadership qualities showcase how well can you manage how can you actually influence people how can you talk about different events how can you organize different things maintain discipline in schools for the smooth functioning all of this will definitely add greatly to your profile again it gives me a benchmark to see how proficient have you been in your management skills it just tells me that you can work in pressure work under pressure crisis management all of these will help you shape your personality to an extent now um the most important aspect is what i'm going to talk about is since all of us have a great deal of questions with respect to what is the career going to have for me is it going to be a good paying career will i have to travel a lot will i have to work a lot of time what is my job routine going to look like what are the growth opportunities in the area and most importantly the question that we all get here is what is the scope of this area now all of this needs to be answered by somebody who's actually in the field for you to experience how does a real work scenario looks like internships are the best way to go ahead and understand the same now i also understand that you do not have enough time to do that you are managing your board exams you are managing your entrance exam preparation so how do you actually go about doing it now uh, there's something called as a virtual internship program where you can go ahead and connect right from the comfort of your home with the industry experts with the professionals who are out there in this particular field already you can connect to them ask all your questions you also have the opportunity to work around with them clear up all your queries understand what the work routine looks like work on a project with them see whether or not you have that particular skill set or not or whether there is some kind of a knowledge gap that you feel should be removed what are the things that you should build on more so all of this will give you a very good and a very detailed understanding of whether or not you want to still keep up keep this up as a career option for you or not so definitely go about uh, experiencing in the real world scenario if you are okay and you have that kind of time at hand where you can go out and do real internships it works even better if not then this is one option to look at now uh, there must be a lot of students who would say ma'am should i start all of this together i would say no please take your time see what works for you prioritize for yourself and see what are the skill sets that you need what are the things that you would want to have in the coming future please make your own plans because every student is unique and every plan is going to be different so make sure everything is planned in a certain manner for your own self and do not please do not compare your plans with others be better than yourself who you were yesterday all right all the very best i hope i was able to convey all these points very very clearly and help you out in the same if at all i can help you in any manner or if you have any queries regarding any of these points please feel free to message and reach out to us at hello@theratemindler.com thank you so much and have a great day